Hi everybody, it's Lene. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. Yesterday I picked up this great paper pad uh, from Bow Bunny. It's also from you know, American Crafts, Bow Bunny. And it's got some fantastic papers in it, you guys. These are six by eight and a half inches. And I was flipping through and I was really inspired by the really the beautiful shades of green. There was one right there, there's another one, and that one. And I thought, wow, I can make a St. Patrick's Day card out of that. <laughs> so that's where we're going with this today. So these particular two papers really just shouted spring and St. Patrick's Day. And I picked these cute little flat back shamrocks up from Hobby Lobby. And I've got some dazzle stickers that have St. Patrick's Day on them and some green ribbon so let's go right so first of all i'm going to start off with a five by six and a half inch card but i'm going to cut this down to six inches i just want everything to be a little bit more compact so let's grab this and the other thing is i'm going to cut about two and a half inches from the top of the card front only. So let's do, let's do this. Actually, let's just do two inches. I'm feeling two inches. Nope, it's gotta be two and a half. Yeah, if we can't, if haven't caught on, I have no idea what we're going to end up with. I hope it's good. All right. So we've got a five by six inch card and I've cut two and a half inches from the top flap only. Okay. The next thing is I really love my tag punch. So I know we were going to use that. And I'm wondering if, yeah, this would be the right size. I know I wanna make a little bit of a flap, like a something to flap over the top. So basically this is gonna be the layout. But I wanna make the flap out of one of these papers. So, but I like this size, I really do. So like if we took this, and we put this in a little tag punch. All right, and we scored it here. Let's score it. It's nice to make a mock-up, right? I just wanna score it. There about a quarter, well, that's about a quarter of an inch ish. Yeah, okay, that's what we're going for. That's our card today. All right, so I need to cut because I think I want to have this be down here, and then I want to have this be this here. Okay, so I need to cut this to two by five. I mean, I could leave that as it is and have it be white, but that just doesn't seem fun. All right, so this needs to be two inches. No, wrong, Lene, it needs to be two and a half inches. Hope you're enjoying my process. Sometimes I just like to get on here and, what do they call that, vamping? <laughs> Where you're just going for it? All right, two by five, two and a half by five inches. I'm gonna cut this like this. Now, if you don't have a tag shape, you could take a piece like this just sort of bend it. Make sure your corners align and snip. 
and you could make yourself a little tag shape like that. I'm not going to use this hole at all, so this works just fine too for your flap. Like if we were going to cut this down, that would totally work. So don't uh, be discouraged if you don't have this, you can still make this card. All right. Now we're going to score this little top again, and then we'll be done with the scoreboard. Okay, I'm just going to do that at a quarter inch. All right, so now I'm going to take this. I love this really cheery gingham like that and then this is going to go over the top of it and then I think I'm going to put this solid green on the inside of the card so my question being should I cover the whole thing I think I want to have a little bit of a white border now remember how I hate measuring the tag should have shown you that so what I'm doing is, is I made a little white border on these sides, okay? And then I'm just continuing that white border by marking it here and here. I'm gonna take my paper cutter and go across and across, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So I went ahead and cut down and glued my sweet little gingham to the front flap. And then I've got some sort of a nice limey green cardstock that I've also cut down for the inside. Put a little glue there. Notice how I just make sure I'm kind of getting the corners there. Liquid glue tends to spread, so I feel like that is going to secure everything just fine. All right, so there is our base. And now we've got the cute little flap that we've cut down like that. So for this one, we're gonna put a little bit of glue just along that flap. And then we wanna place it right about there. I just want to make sure that that's really flush with that top edge. All right, so as you guys know, I love that little interaction where somebody gets a card and they're flipping things and opening things. So that's how we're going to look there. Now we get to decorate it. All right, so I've got my little St. Patrick's Day Dazzle stickers. Um, these have lots of holidays on them. In fact, this is called, I think, Happy Every Day, Happy, happy Every Holiday Dazzle Stickers. And so they've got lots of happies, and then they've got Valentine's, Easter, New Year's. This is really a nice go-to. They come in tons of different colors in a pack. And I love that I don't have to have a separate pack for every holiday. Um, so that's really nice to have. So what we're going to do is, because we're trying to get Happy St. Patrick's Day on this tag, so I like to take my little pokey tool and just lift these little things up because they are a mirror vinyl. And what I mean by that is that they're very shiny and the vinyl tends to be a little bit more brittle than just like a regular vinyl. So you just have to have a little care. There we go. Come on up. And that's why I like, <clears throat> oh, my tea came off. That's okay, we're gonna fix it. We're gonna do the largest word first. So we're gonna do Patrick's. I think right there. Wait, 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 I need to leave room for my bow. Just 
a little bit of vinyl stuck in that A. All right, now we have our little lost saint. And that T. Boy, that really uh, came apart. That's okay, if this ever happens to you, there's always a way to fix it, just like that. That's another reason I love my pokey tool. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> now we need a happy. And you'll notice, I get questions about how I use dazzle stickers a lot, and that's just it. I just kind of pry and use my fingertip, but the pokey tool is really a game changer because I see how it's just kind of hanging there, and then you can kind of place it just where you want it. And if you don't secure it, you don't burnish it with your finger, you can move it around and get it just where you want it. Happy St. Patrick's Day. All right, there we go. All right, so I've also got some of this sweet little green polka dot ribbon. Yes, there's gonna be a lot of pattern on this card. I just noticed this little piece right there. Did drive me crazy? So we're gonna make a little bow now this is single-sided ribbon, so if you've ever had a question about how to make a bow with single-sided ribbon, because there is a little bit of a twisting, so I'm gonna do that. It's just like when you tie your shoes, little bunny rabbit, go around, then when your thumb is right here, it's the rabbit hole, another bunny ear. Okay, so you'll see here, we've got a tail going here, I'm just gonna chop the rest of this off. I really like to use between nine and 12 inches for a bow. Um, any more than that is just unnecessary. Any less than nine inches and it's really hard. So we've got this going on, what do we do? So the first thing I do is just kind of manipulate it a little bit. So I get the shape that I want and now I'm taking this and I'm twisting it. See how it's coming from the back? I'm just gonna twist it. You're kind of rolling it over right there. So the dots are on the front. And then once they're in the place that you want them, secure it by tightening it. And then you can manipulate your bows once that's going in the right direction. There is no such thing as a perfectly tied bow <laughs> when you first tie it. Unless you're using like a little helper tool or something like that. And there are some really great ones. Maybe I should try one of those out one time. We'll do a demo. But this is probably one of my most asked questions about bow tying. All right, then I like to just, now you can just cut your tails at an angle like that to keep them from fraying but I like to make them a little dovetail, a little V at the end, so you fold that ribbon in half, and it is a little hard when you have very tiny ribbon, and then you're gonna cut away from you like this, and you're gonna get that really pretty notch. I'm gonna do that again. This is half inch wide ribbon, so it's a little trickier. When you're getting into like, five eighths and three quarters inch ribbon. It's much easier. All right. All right, so now that's gonna go right there. And then we've got these just adorable little shamrocks. And these are just really gonna be kind of the card focal here. And I think there's eight pieces in here. How adorable. So 
it would be really cute to just put one right up there and then do some right here now if you don't like the sparkly bits you could just use these and that's adorable but I like some sparkle do you guys like glitter and sparkle too let me know let me know I don't want to be the only one yeah I think that's I think that's it so for my little bow I do have this little hole right here okay and I'm not mad at it we could keep the little hole but I want to cover it up and for that I'm gonna put a little glue instead of here because then the knot would be right there and the glue would go here I'm gonna put a little glue on the sides and yes I'm gonna use some hot glue put the glue on the side so I can still cover that hole Get away, glue string. There we go. Make sure it did stick a tiny bit. We're good. All right. And then we've got our cute little shamrocks, which I'm obsessed with. They're just so cute. I love that. With these, they will be just fine if we just use a little bit of cosmic shimmer. I don't know, are we happy with that one? Maybe that needs to go up there. Yeah, that one needs to go up there. So I'm going to put this one, now that I have glue on it, right in the middle. And then this one is going to go up here. And then this one. And this one. And I think I'm going to have all my stems going in the same direction. Right here. That's the other thing about using a little liquid glue here is it does give you time to kind of manipulate things, move things around. All right, there we go. It's our cute little St. Patrick's Day card. As you can see, super fast and easy to put together. This layout would work for just any, any occasion, any holiday. Um, as long as you have two patterned papers, you're solid, okay? I love the tone on tone, that monotone color that we've got going on here. We've got all green. We're bringing in a little bit of white. We've got some sparkle. We've got some color variation. I think that's a lot of fun. And you guys, I would love to give this card away. I love giving my projects away. And in order to receive this card or have a chance to win it, you need to like, comment, and subscribe. YouTube tells me that most of you watching are not subscribed and I'm really trying to get my subscriber count up. My sister-in-law who is my editor and I, we have a little bet like when will we reach a thousand subscribers? So help us do that you guys, we would really appreciate it. Watch next week's video to see if you've won this card. I'll get it to you in plenty of time so you can either keep this for a little inspiration to make for your own or to share this card with a friend so you can send it out give a little happy mail to someone. Thanks so much for joining me today, you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.